Hey, 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 my beautiful people. Good morning to all my kings and queens. I enjoyed hanging out with those who showed up for my live stream on Saturday um, for you guys to get to know me better and my co-host, Mr. Riggs from The Riggs Effect. Guys, be on the lookout because uh, over the next few months, he will be kicking off his new channel, which will be entitled The Riggs Effect. If you are new on my channel today, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping in. My name is Wanda, and this is Grandma Does It All. This is a cleaning and organization channel. I am a full-time grandmother raising my grandsons, ages 7, 9, 10, and I assist with my oldest grandson, who's 13. Guys, I am currently separated from my husband, who I filed into the country from Nigeria, along with his children. And I am sharing my experience with you all. So if you're new, grab a seat, sit down and relax and hang around with us for a bit. Guys, we're gonna go right into another story. Today, I am going to tell you about a snowstorm that we had in New Jersey about three years ago. If you don't know, we get an awful lot of snowstorms here where we live, and um, we're always preparing for them. Um, it's not a big deal for us that live up north because we get them so often. But we still do the same preparation. A lot of people go out and buy a bunch of food because they know they may be snowed in for a few days. Um, you have to make sure that you have your salt. We start salting the grounds before it even or early on when it starts to fall. Uh, we go out and we lift up our windshield wiper. It's in preparation for it to make it easier for cleaning off the snow later. Um, a lot of people claim parking spots. I don't get into all of that. <laughs> um, well, more importantly, we have to make sure that we have uh, the scrapers and the snow shovels ready for digging and whatever boots and clothes you're going to go out there and dig in. A lot of times we go out periodically and clear off the cars while it's still snowing so that we won't have too much to do in the end. So this particular snowstorm was no different from any other, except we were expecting um, anywhere from eight to 12 inches of snow. So I prepared my ex, being as though he's from Nigeria and all of this snow and stuff is new to him for the past couple of years. And I told him, this isn't our normal snowstorm where we get a couple inches and of, you know snow or dustings and where it's easy to clean off and get back on the roads i said this is going to be one of the heavier ones since you've come here so i was preparing him to clear off every few hours as well and i also told him that because we have remote starts to our car we can start them about 10 15 minutes ahead of time so that um everything could start to kind of melt and soften up and it'll make it easier for when he goes out to clear off the cars. I was inside with the kids, keeping them occupied. And if you look on my other channel, uh, the Chandler Crew, which is my main channel, it's a family channel, you will see where I always like bake cupcakes or cookies or doing hot chocolate, some type of indoor activity and watching movies and things like that with the kids to keep them occupied, right? Um, it had snowed Friday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday continuously. And by Sunday, you know, it's time for you to prepare to go to work for the upcoming week. So Sunday, I told him uh, that we should get a head start. And he said, don't worry, he's going to go out there and take care of it. Okay, so I stay inside. I'm making Sunday dinner and I'm doing the laundry and everything indoors that I always do. You know, my whole Sunday reset. Um, uh, preparing the kids, checking over. 
all their uh, school bags, getting their clothes out. Like I said, doing laundry, getting uh, my uniforms together and making sure that my extra stuff were ready as well. I'm starting to iron for the week. You know, I'm doing all the things, guys. And he came in after being out there for about a half an hour. And I asked, you know, was everything a go? And he said, yeah, he pretty much got it cleared off. So about four hours later, I started the cars up again to let them warm up. And again, he went outside to clear off any more snow that had fell onto the cars like any husband should be doing, right? So I get a call from my job because they would call us and let us know if we were going to uh, have delays with opening or um, if we were going to be expected to be in right on time. This particular phone call was saying that we were expected um a delay of two hours. He, on the other hand, said that he was just going to get up um, and go to work 4.30 like he always did. No biggie. Guys, he went out, I want to say, three times on Sunday up until the last time he went out was about 11 o'clock on Sunday night. Again, I started those cars up and got everything warm and going so that when he went out there, um, it would be easy for him to clear the cars off again. So he goes out there. He's on the phone now. I, you know, he goes out. He's on his uh, phone talking to his friends. And I guess, you know, they're talking about the snowstorm and um, if the roads are going to be passable the following morning, and, you know, stuff like that. And then they go into speaking their own language. I check out at that point because I get sick of hearing all those cackling hens and when I say that I don't mean women I'm talking about men if you don't know Nigerian men gossip more than women so he goes outside on his phone call and I noticed this time he's out there um, an extended amount of time so I just go on in the bathroom finally get my shower get myself all ready for the next day um go check in on the boys and tuck them in. And then I come on back on upstairs to my bedroom and I'm watching my TV shows and I'm, you know, doing some crossword puzzle books and stuff like that. And I did all that until I retired to bed. I heard him when he came back in, but I was, you know, already falling asleep and it was getting pretty deep. <laughs> so the next morning when my alarm went off, Oh, I, I neglected to tell you, I already knew that the kids' schools were canceled the following day. So the next morning when my alarm went off, I got up, I made the kids a warm breakfast, and I got them ready because I needed to take them over to the sitter. I got myself all ready. I packed them up their lunches, and I packed up my lunch like I always do. And here it is. We're right on schedule, but... I just uh, scheduled my t myself to leave out at least 20 minutes in advance so that I can get them to childcare and I can then get to work on time. Guys, we get our coats on and we heading out the door and I can't find my car. And I'm like, what in the... And I'm looking around and I don't see this silver van nowhere. Can I tell y'all that no, he didn't take my car, if that's what y'all thinking, because that's the first thing I thought. No, my car was across the parking lot, still buried in snow. My car had the snow on it from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All the times that that fool went outside to clear off the car, he cleared off just what I said, his car, and left mine. OMG, I was stuck on stupid and parked on dog. Needless to say, I missed working. 